Hello and welcome back, friends and foes alike, mostly friends, I hope. Uh, last time we explored the town of Penile, or Penile, as it should be pronounced, um, in Kentucky, and it was very quickly my most watched video. Which doesn't say much, it's not like I'm bagging sponsorship level views here, but it got posted to the Louisville subreddit. Thank you, Scott, for teaching me how to fit in. Hopefully I've gotten my Louisville right. I actually find it really hilarious that Kentuckians seem to take great pride and are very particular about the pronunciations of their towns, which is evident in the insistence that Penile is pronounced Penile, also in the first comment I received on this video. And then when it did get posted to the subreddit, I found it funny that even in the about community section, half of it is how to pronounce Louisville, which I'm still not pronouncing correctly, I'm sure. But I'm giving it a go. So uh, A for effort, I suppose. But turns out Kentucky is, um, is full of wonderfully named places. And I had requested that if anybody lived there to slide into my DMs and well, they slid onto Reddit. <laughs> Rode the school bus to Fairdale down Penile. We all loved the name back then too. Had some older neighbors that went to Penile school. So I wrote back that I love that riding down Penile is a childhood memory of all things. I don't know how my college students keep it together when they first start their co-op. They are either very naive or extremely, extremely mature. It's one of the two. And I also love that he recognizes the Penile Baptist Church man that we found in Google Images. That's a classic. I did almost put him on the thumbnail, but then I just wasn't sure how somebody would feel about being the thumbnail for Penile. So I didn't put it, but he will live on in the video for sure. I still giggle like a middle school student when I see that road name. Join the club. Join the club. So weird, I've lived in Louisville a long time and I've never heard of this place that I've heard of literally everything else she mentioned in the video. Hey, it's never too late to discover your own backyard. Certainly there are things in my own backyard I'm sure I don't know about, but always good to have penile in your backyard. Oh, if she could only hear the way other cities are pronounced. Going to Versailles? No, it's Versailles. <laughs> Been to Cadiz? No, you went to Katie's. <laughs> Katie's! It's amazing, they make it their own. It's fantastic. Yeah, and even even the Google reviews, you know? Penile. It was demanded it be pronounced correctly there. Pleasure Ridge Park is most commonly called PRP. Yeah, there's a bit in my video where I'm reading a comment from a blog um, and they refer to PRP and I was confused then and then while editing it, I realized, oh, it's probably Pleasure Ridge Park. That would make sense. Above the crowd, just tried to start a good list for me to go through. Seemingly we've got Big Bone Lick and Beaver Lick. The licking continues. It's non-stop down in, I was gonna say penal, but this isn't in penal, so Kentucky, what can I say? You are an unexpectedly saucy place. I have learned much from this experience. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. So apparently monkey's eyebrow is a thing. I can't imagine why it's called monkey's eyebrow. Let's look that one up, actually. What the hell is monkey's eyebrow? Eyebrow? No, okay, eyebrow. Monkey's eyebrow, it's a thing. Again, there's always a church there. People also sought search for chicken, boring, dinosaur, truth or consequences, and intercourse. There is no shortage of funny named places in the world. I, I think I could make an entire YouTube channel just on funny named places. Let's check out Monkey's Eyebrow. I actually want to see it on the map. Monkey's Eyebrow Road. It is just fields. Another unincorporated community. Ooh, it's got a Wikipedia page. We oh, love a good Wikipedia page. It's an unincorporated community. The community is not even listed seemingly on uh, Google Maps, just the road. Monkey's Eyebrow is a rural, unincorporated community in Ballard County, Kentucky, United States. A few different theories exist regarding the origin of the community's unique name. There were originally two Monkey's Eyebrows. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? They typically come as a pair. Only if you're unlucky do you only get one. One was at the top of a small hill, the other at the bottom. So was it a raised eyebrow? There were stores at both locations. Today there are no stores. <laughs> no stores for you, monkey eyebrow. A nearby attraction is the state-controlled Bower County Wildlife Management Area. Oh, we've got a funny wildlife management area here too. Watch this. It was, I think it was on route to Sacramento. Okay, I could have sworn it was around here. Yes, there is. If your ears were working when the motto was popping, driving through the YOLO bypass was you know, I mean, you know the jokes already. I don't need to tell you about that. Anyway, a common joke in the region is to provide directions to the city of Paducah by saying it's halfway between Monkey's Eyebrow and Possum Trot, a tiny community in Marshall County. 
que se advida. Muji was formerly frequently mentioned in the sign-off message of WPSD TV in nearby Paducah as the location of its 1638 foot broadcast transmitter. Oh, I saw that! That's right here! That must be this. No pictures. This is God's country. Yes, Richard. Yes, it is the transmitter. Good. Am I pronouncing that correctly, Paducah? I'm, I'm scared that I'm not pronouncing anything right in Kentucky and Kentuckians are gonna be like, yo, put some respect on it. Paducah, yeah, it's Paducah. Yeah, okay. Whew. I'm gonna find out monkey's eyebrow is called Molly's eyelid or something. Well, they have it. Oh, we didn't get to the etymology. One theory on the origin of this unique name is that when looking at it from the air or on a map of Ballard County, it resembles a monkey's head. Monkey's eyebrow is located where the monkey's eyebrow would be located. That would make sense. I would trust that that was the logic. It has also been said that when viewed from a nearby hill, the shape of the town resembles a monkey's eyebrow. Why a monkey in particular? What species of monkey are we talking about here? To some have very distinct eyebrows? And where in Kentucky are these monkeys? I have many questions. Yet another theory of the town's naming is that sometime before 1900, a community resident would go to nearby Needmore <laughs> to get supplies because you needed more supplies. The names! The names! It's been stated that the man considered the store to be only fit for a bunch of monkeys and that he considered both of its owners to be monkey-like, even having eyebrows resembling those of a, don of a donkey. Donkey, read. Come on, you can read. So, big bone lick. You know we gotta go to Big Bone Lick. Big Bone Lick state. I mean, why Big Bone Lick? Oh, and it's on Beaver Road. No, it's not. And it's almost in Bone County, but it's not, it's Boone. Oh, that's unlucky. The name of the park comes from the place to see in megafauna fossils found there. Mammoths are believed to have been drawn to this location by Salt Lick, deposited around the Sulphur Springs. So you guys found some big bones and a Salt Lick and just word smashed it into Big Bone Lick. Can't argue with that logic. So all the other places named Lick, like we found Blue Lick, Bee Lick, Ma Man's Lick. Is it because bees came to Salt Licks and is it all Salt Lick related or? I don't know. Big Bone Lick on Beaver Road. And there's always a church. There's always a church. Every single time. Especially when they're like, you know, at the crossroads of Big Bone Creek and Beaver Road. City planners must be having a laugh. You know, we're gonna put a religious establishment. But we're gonna make sure that, um, you know, corner of Big Bone Creek and Beaver Road, that'll be where we put it. Oh, look at cute little buffalo. That's nice. What's the campground like? Coral berry trail. Always be aware of hazardous trees. Oh my god, oh, because they fall down. I wonder what they were saying their trees do over there for a second. You know, I'm just riding around looking for dirty street names. Big Bone Church Road. No way. Big Bone, oh, Kentucky. The gift that keeps on giving. My God, I'm ready. Big Bone Lick, here comes Poobette. What else have we got? Beaver Lick, it's real. I didn't doubt it for a second again. Jesus knows all our faults and loves us anyway is apparently the main image for Beaver Lick. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I have, I have no comment. I have absolutely no comment, but the intersections of religion and dirty names are just excellent in Kentucky. Big Bone rides on down to Beaverlick. What What do you know? What's good here? Dickerson runs through it. Richwood. Mmm. That's a quicker trip to, to Beaverlick. Stop. I have to stop. I have to stop. I know this is like middle school level humour. I'm sorry. It's just too easy. Are there homes here? Do people live here? Another unincorporated community. All these unincorporated communities, they're sexy places. They're very sexy. Oh, there's a speedway. Oh, that's fun. And the one restaurant where everybody goes afterwards. Okay, so let's check Versailles in Kentucky. Maybe I've been tricked into pronouncing that incorrectly, but let's check it out. Or let's see if the Wikipedia page gives instructions on how to pronounce it. What do you want to bet it does? It does. Versailles. Oh my god. Yes, very specific. The city's name is pronounced Versailles, an anglicization different from the French pronunciation of the royal city the same name near Paris. They're really particular about it. In the inner bluegrass region, the area is a center for horse breeding and training and for thoroughbred and standard bred racehorses. Blah, blah, blah. Pleasure horses. Mm. Thoroughbred farms include Woodburn Stud. No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. Everybody's got dicks on the brain. What else do I find in the comments? Our bus ride on Penal eventually takes you to Man's Lick Road on the way to Fairdale. Not as good a name as 
big bone lick, but a good lick one nonetheless. And then that turns into Mount Holly. Guess it depends on how dirty your mind wants to get. That is totally on point. Also, just as a follow up on Penile, there were some things I missed when I rewatched my video. Where is it? At the corner of Newcut and the Gene Snyder Freeway is Woodspring sweets uh which makes sense for penile and also also there's big o tires you can't make it up what else did i find here that was amusing no i think that was uh those were the big ones funny place names in kentucky hippo oddville pig <laughs> what town folk couldn't decide on a name is that real pig kentucky it is it's called Pig. The town was so named after disputes over which name to choose. A resident stated he saw a small hog on the road. The name of Pig was then accepted. <laughs> My god, government could be so productive if they took after Pig. That's so cute. What's Pig like? I bet it's cute. It could also be terrifying. Hello, Pig. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's quite nice. Not bad. Let's do a street view. I should have done a street view in Penile. That's very nice. Wow, it was really nice actually. Looks actually sort of English, to be honest. This is totally like sort of English countryside. Yeah, it looks really fresh. Mud lick, deer lick, paint lick, sulfur lick, bee lick. But why bee lick? A lick is a salt bot given to animals and word added to a lot of Kentucky towns. But why? Why is it added to, like, what is the obsession with, with salt blocks? There's monkey's eyebrow. <laughs> Oh my god. Booger branch. Rolling hills of green. Well, what can I say? Thank you all so much for contributing to the follow up and for the lists and the ideas. Uh, this has been fun. And if you liked this little follow up, then please do drop a like and consider subscribing for more strange things. Kentucky's been fun. Wonder what it'll be next. I actually do have something in mind that I also came across randomly because I'm just a very random person. I enjoy unexpected absurdity. So we will continue on that theme. See you around. Bye.